Okay, continuing on. Uh, at this point, I am using the bold chisel here to refine this uh, nostril area. And if you notice this uh, this contour, this line in the texture right there, that is where the, f the nostril is in the photograph. In this dark ridge here is where the nostril is on the, the actual model. So I'm really slowly uh, building out that, that nostril using a really low strength on that, uh, that chisel um, to bulge that nose out. And so it's roughly in the right shape. Again, we're not going for perfection, um, but we want to get that general shape here. Now, what I just did is I toggled the, the lighting on and off with the G hotkey. That's G. Um, so that way you can see that texture really flat on the model without the lighting effects. Um, and so at this point, I'm saving the project. There's a little bit of a delay because you, you can't see the dialog box. My screen capture program doesn't capture it, but that's okay. You just, you're saying save project as, specify the file name, nothing new there. Okay, so let's skip ahead. Uh, so here we are. And so b essentially at this point, I'm just gonna be doing a lot of the same. I'm just going to be refining the shape. Um, I generally, I'm using heavy use of this uh, the bulge chisel, and I use the Alt key again to dent things in. If I want to dent the cheekbones in, I hold the Alt key and I use the bulge chisel. And if I and I don't hold the Alt key when I bring things out, and so uh, see there I am. Uh, so I'm going to bring that that cheekbone out just a little bit, um, increasing that uh, the size of that brush. To there we go. And you see this little line is in there, that's just, uh, it's a low polygon model, so you tend to get these little uh, ridges here and there. We can always smooth that out, that's no big deal. So anyway, moving along. Okay, uh, continuing, a little more of the same. Now here what I'm doing is I'm looking at it from some different angles, and you'll see that um, when you see that sort of stretching on the side, that's because at this point we have this image being projected onto the model from the front from the front. So when we look at from the side, we're just seeing that sort of the fall off stretching from that. So we're not going to worry too much because uh, again, this is just mainly we're working on the front. We're going to load in a side view pretty short uh, quite shortly and then we're going to be doing a, bit, a lot of the same where we're going to start working on the side profile. So let's skip ahead. And again, more of the same, just using that bulge tool, refining the shape. Um, here we go. Bear with me. Okay, at this point, I spun my wheels a bit. I imported a 45 degree angle, and this is really good for when it comes to actually uh, painting the texture, because this 45 angle, 45 degree angle is gold. Because you're getting a bit of the front, you're getting a bit of the side, and if you paint that texture, you're, you're, it's, uh, it's, it's a really powerful technique as opposed to just front and side. Because when you just do front and side, you tend to get this sort of region right here, which is kind of like uh, a little fuzzy, because it's the sort of where both sides are falling off. This 45 degree angle is great, but when it comes to morphing, it's not really of much use, especially for heads on an angle. So what we did here is um, we imported the side view, and uh, we also deleted the actual reference image. We did that a little back here. I skipped it, so let's go back to it. Um, where are we? Just missed it there. There we go. In the manager, objects, right click, delete. You delete this object, okay? So we're going back here. And we're adjusting the same technique using a fixed plane, uh, moving it into place using the eye as the anchor, and things should be pretty much lined up with the nose, the ears, the lips, as far as this way, because we already did it from the front, and then, but we notice that this ear is going to have to be pulled back, and this chin and lip area is going to have to be pulled back as well. So we use the same technique. We have none selected for culling, so we select straight through. If you don't know what that means, please check out the, uh, the using uh, the culling video, the culling explained, uh, and that'll explain what all these options do. Hit the S key to soften it so we get a nice smooth transition. We're gonna go over to Morph and click on the Move Hammer down here, and then we're gonna pull that ear back. See, and notice how this texture is staying where it is. That's because this is just a projection of this image onto that. It's not actually the texture map yet. We haven't gotten that far. So this is um, being used as, a, as an overlay reference tool for our morphing. And so, 
here we go. And we actually rotate that ear a bit because from the side we can see that the ear is kind of pulled back. And just doing a few uh, various, this is a scaling. We just did a vertical scale here. So that means just going up and down. And a few tweaks and so on and so forth. Um, there we go. Uh, 